brace yourselves because what I'm about to share with you is going to make me sound exactly like your friend who just came back from the US and prefaces every conversation he has for the next six months with Ah, uh, in America they have something called the blue wall I'm sorry, did you just say blue whale? No, blue wall Oh You want to kill one? The blue wall is this chunk of states in the northeast that is so safe for the Democrats that even if the Republicans kidnapped the Democratic candidate, switched him around with a guy who answers campaign finance questions with Uh, I ran dog fights and one of the dogs was just a kid in a costume. And I always bet against the kid. And you say you're a Democrat? Uh, yeah, sure. I love the bobcats. 257 electoral votes guaranteed. Automatic will go to the Democrats every presidential election. The Republicans cannot win these 257 votes. And you know how many votes you need to be president? 270. That pretty much means the Republicans have to win all 10 swing states. A strike. Piece of cake. Nobody is bigger and better at strikes than me. It is virtually impossible for the Republicans to win the White House, and that was achieved mostly by a coalition of young people and Mexicans. As eager as the only Mexicans we have in Australia are Guzman and Gomez. I got food poisoning from that place twice, and I've only ever been there three times. But in the words of the Terminator, I'll be back soon. In Australia, it's purely the youth vote that would have this effect. We are the sleeping giant of this country that because a little over a fifth of us aren't enrolled, particularly 18 and 19 year olds, because you tend to think... Yeah, they just sign you up automatically, don't they? Yes, that's what we wanted you to think. <laughs> Freddy Krueger has a really contagious laugh. Seeing as two thirds of us either support Labor or the Greens, it really doesn't benefit the Liberal Party to have us on the ballot. So they include all these dirty tricks like not automatically enrolling us even though the technology has existed for years. It's extremely perplexing. All these obstacles, make no mistake about it, are specifically there to frustrate the young vote. But if we all ensure that we're on the ballot, to quote Chris Angel right, now we would have our own not a blue wall, that'd be the Conservative Party in this country. Greyish green Abbott proof fence. I'm still barely in Parliament, it's kind of a relevant reference. If just 2% of the 6.8% of Australians not currently enrolled signed up tomorrow, six marginally held Liberal seats would become Labor safe seats overnight. The Liberal Party could not expect to win these seats in an election, while many, many others... How many is it? I don't know, the article didn't say. The point is that a bunch of current Liberal safe seats would become very winnable for Labor and the Greens if just 2% of you signed up. So for everyone who keeps hounding me in the comments... Yeah, it's easy to sit there, bitch and bone, but what are you gonna do about it, friendly Johnnies? Huh? What are you gonna do? Oh, you don't need me. What you needed was inside you all alone. Because our generation has all been wielding a secret power before we could even read. And that magical ability is... Please, can you give me this buzz like your toy, Mum, please? <laughs> don't give me this head Oh, as if that's a lot of money. You make 800 of them a week. Well, you know what they say. They say if it's not so much, you buy it. <laughs> That's right, man. We are masters at it. We can move the political pendulum in this country the same way we used to move action figures and Barbie dolls right off the shelves of Kmart. The magic number for this swing is 324,000. If you nagged two friends to sign up until they finally buckled and yelled, Okay, if I do, will you shut up? We would become this nation's counterweight to the grey vote. So while I highly appreciate your current strategy of dealing with the Liberal Party, which is to watch my videos and mutter under your breath, Oh, bloody grandparents for voting this clown in. I wish Nan and Pop were dead. It's not nice. Especially when you don't need to wish death upon them. All you need to do is do exactly what we do with old people in every other facet of their existence. Make them utterly useless. Our generation could cancel out the dementia-ridden, Studio 10-watching prunes that have a brainwashed, mummified clench hold on this country just by you nagging two of your friends. Go do it now while it's fresh on your mind. And if you're 16 to 17, sign up now so you don't have to in the future while it's fresh. And when you do that, dress yourself up as Marge Simpson, take a photo with the two people that you convince, and we'll put you in an exclusive Friends of Friendly Geordie's photo album entitled The Hull of Chronic Nagging, 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 Nagging. Sorry, it does that sometimes. Nagging.
to celebrate that you've unleashed the power of our generation in the way that comes most naturally to us. By doing next to nothing. Ugh. Mom, come pick me up. Oh my god, I just registered to vote, man. Why are you nagging me about my driver's license? 100% true Aussie patriot. Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.